Hey guys, welcome back to the Vera Projects. Um, today I want to talk about an issue that I was having with the Octoprint. So I was trying to hook up a Raspberry Pi 4 to my Ender 5 Plus. And for some reason, after I loaded Octoprint to the Raspberry Pi, the Wi-Fi would not show on the network. Now, uh, if I would hook it up to the Ethernet port, then it would show up. But as soon as I would unplug it, the Wi-Fi wouldn't show up. So there is a pretty easy fix for that and I wanted to show you how to fix it very quickly. All right, so after downloading the Octopi and loading it to the micro SD card, they're letting you know that you need to go into the Octopi WPA su uh, supplement file and what you need to do is you need to edit the configuration there. So one thing I've learned is I've removed everything that was in that file and only kept very few things as in this particular two lines and then make sure that you keep your country line here for the country code so I'm in the US if you're in Spain or England or whatnot make sure that you change it to the the proper initials for that for those countries now one thing I did realize is that when this line was not available from the file um, uh, for some reason the Wi-Fi wouldn't show up. So there's a few things that need to be in place. So make sure that you do enter your SSID, your Wi-Fi name, your Wi-Fi password, and then make sure that this line is right below this, right? So this is um, the file, how it would need to look like. All right, so what you need to do in order to fix it, um, after I showed you that you edited that text file, what you're gonna do is you're gonna download PuTTY um, and then you can go ahead and download that. So you're going to go to putty.org. You're going to come here and you're going to click here and then you're going to go ahead and find the correct, um, if it's 64 bit or 32 bit, you're going to download it. Then you're going to run it. It's going to look like this. And then here, uh, what I've noticed is the only for you, only way for you to find out what your IP is is if you run an application um, like IP range or angry angry IP scanner. So what I've done here is that when you have your Raspberry Pi connected to Ethernet, what you're going to do is you're going to click start. You're going to find all the IPs in your network. While your Ethernet is still connected to your Raspberry Pi, just wait until you get the IP for that one first. This is the only way to fix the Wi-Fi. So let it scan, it's almost done. Okay, it's complete. You're gonna come here, you're gonna sort by name, and then you're gonna come here and you're gonna look for your Raspberry Pi. Okay, and you notice there that that's the IP address. So you're going to type it in 192.168.1.237 and then you're going to click open. Okay, just press accept here. What that's going to do is it's going to be able to it's giving you the command line into the Raspberry Pi. Right, and that command line, your, your login is going to be what's in this text file here, pi, and the password is going to be raspberry. It's always going to be that. So you're going to type in pi, and then when you type in the password, you're not going to see anything move, okay? So like, let's say I make a mistake and you press enter. What's going to happen is it's going to say access denied. But if you do type it properly, raspberry, then you get this command, right? So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna run this script here, right? You're gonna type in sudo, you're gonna do sudo, kill all WPA supplicant, and you're gonna press enter. I can't do it now because I already set mine up. But when you press enter, then what it's gonna do is, it's gonna show you um, yeah, I took a screenshot of it. I took a screenshot of it so you guys can see. 
So what happens is when um, you, you run that command, it's gonna ask you for the password right here. And then <clears throat> it'll say successfully initiated the WP supplicant. That means that <clears throat> it went ahead and it killed it, right? You're not gonna notice anything after you type in the password. Um, it, it's just gonna kill it. And then it's gonna return with the uh, with the pi at octopi. And then there you're gonna then you're gonna add this entire line. And once you add that entire line, you press enter. It's gonna say successfully initiated WP uh, supplicant, right? And what that did was that it basically turns off the Wi-Fi in your Raspberry Pi and restarts it. And by doing so, um, it automatically goes and makes it work. So after it works, what you're going to do is you're gonna turn off your your, uh, your Raspberry Pi, you're gonna unplug it, you're gonna unplug your ethernet, and then you're gonna plug it back in. When you plug it back in, it's gonna take about two minutes to three minutes to actually boot up and find the Wi-Fi and get connected. And once that happens, then you're gonna be able to go ahead and find it through your IP, right? <clears throat> and once you find it through the IP, you're gonna notice that you're gonna you're gonna have to go through a series of steps and questions that it'll ask you. Um, see, I initially did all that when I was already connected with the ethernet. So in my case, I already did all the steps prior so when I did connect the Wi-Fi, it took me directly into my dashboard for the Octoprint. And as you see here, right now, I am connected to my printer, right? And then you know, it's currently telling me like the temperature of the printer, my controllers. I still have to set up a, a an active webcam and <clears throat> If you want to have a webcam, you can also do a time lapse. So, uh, just to take it a little bit further, um, I wanted to test something, so I've decided to get me this uh, the, the Logitech camera, this Logitech uh, C920, right? <clears throat> and I wanted to go ahead and kind of get a mount for that. So I went ahead and I found a mount on Thingiverse, downloaded the file loaded it up into my Simplify 3D. Loaded it up here in the Simplify 3D. And then <clears throat> you're gonna go ahead and still save it, but you can save it to desktop this time around, right? <clears throat> so I, I saved it to the desktop. I already had it on my desktop. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go to Octoprint and I'm gonna bring in that file from my desktop. And <clears throat> you're going to do is you're going to drag it in here and you're going to be able to upload locally or upload to a local SD card. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to upload locally and, and that's going to put it on the printer itself, right? Once you've done that, then you can go ahead and hit print. Okay, <clears throat> and that's it. That's basically how you fix it from a Wi-Fi perspective. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, I'll see you guys next time with another great video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that like button. We're trying to reach to that thousand subscribers and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.